We've been in this weird period of trading where currencies and stocks are out of sync with one another. The other week, we had seen a strong wave of dollar demand after U.S. economic data came in better than expected, suggesting the Fed would be less accommodative than what the market has been pricing in 2024. And yet, U.S. equities ignored the data and continued to push record highs. Now, in the first half of this week, the market has been more comfortable selling U.S. dollars again, all while stocks have begun to head south, presumably on worry the Fed may actually scale back rate cuts. Overall, the stronger U.S. economic data would suggest that we should be seeing a concurrent wave of dollar demand and downside pressure on stocks, yet for the moment, things are just a little out of rhythm. Tuesday's price action was particularly interesting. U.S. economic data was stronger, German inflation data was softer, and U.K. house prices declined for the first time in three months, yet the U.S. dollar was sold. So it's all a bit of a head scratcher right now. Perhaps the currency market was more focused on dovish speak from Fed's Mester and Daly with both officials still open to three rate cuts this year. Key standouts on Wednesday's calendar come from Eurozone inflation, U.S. ADP employment, Canada PMI reads, U.S. ISM services PMIs, and some more Fed speak. That's all for now.